the World War II version without helmets. Today I'll be taking a look at the CO2 version of the M1 carbine from Marushan. And I've got Marushan's MP40. The lightweight M1 carbine became the standard weapon for the US military during World War II and many refer to it as the gun that won the war for America. The MP40, also known as the Schmeisser by the Allies, were generally issued to the paratroopers as well as the squad leaders as the general population of a German army were issued the Car 98Ks. Although comprised of mainly ABS plastic apart from the magazine which is made out of aluminium, this is a fully automatic GBB gun. Getting back to the more important gun, this is a beautiful replica made of high quality wood and metal. This version of the M1 carbine bears all the same characteristics of previous versions, except that now it uses CO2 and, because of that, is that much more powerful. So, getting to the real point of this video, Tim and I are going to take our two guns for a test drive and see which fares better. Fine. This is not necessarily a test of accuracy. This MP40 only uses 8mm BBs and I'll be using green gas on top of that. I'll be firing these BBs at those cans just to see how well it punctures. And because the Germans struck first in the war, I'll go first. You can see for yourselves the damage done to our poor little soda cans by our respective guns. So I'd definitely beat you in that case. Oh, so what you're saying, greater damage equals greater power? Whatever, we'll see. Yes, America won again the M1 carbine beating the Germans MP40 by a lot. Unsurprising. So we're going to head back to the studio, get out of the searing Hong Kong summer heat and test the FPS using the chrono. I'm using 6mm or 0.2 gram BBs and CO2 gas. And I will be using 8mm BB, 0.48 grams with green gas. So as you saw, the FPS of the M1 carbine decreases substantially from the first shot to the last shot that we fought. But the average FPS is still around 400-410 with the joules being 1.6. So it still means this is a pretty powerful weapon and more powerful than the MP40. Well, it was only a little bit more powerful. Yours was 1.6 joules, mine was 1.4, even though it says 250. I was Excuse using me. I was using 8mm BB, 0.48 grams. I had completely different BBs. Make all the excuses you want. Mine is still more powerful. But mine fires more consistently. And it's made of plastic. ABS plastic, as well as some zinc alloy components. And the forward folding stock has got some steel components as well. This is a magnet, and that, my friend, is proof. You are grasping at straws here. This looks authentic, feels authentic, and sounds really sweet. Okay, how about we just call it even? I'm okay with doing that. I think if you're a collector, or if you're a World War II enthusiast looking for these guns for gaming purposes, either of them is a good choice. So, if you want to purchase these or other cool products, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. There's plenty more where that came from, so don't miss out on other episodes of Red Wolf 